Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to the video for 2.1 concept of enthalpy. In this video, what we're going to look at is to define and write thermochemical equation for the hydration and solution or the other name for it is dissolution. So on your notes will be on page 3. Okay, so we will continue with our standard enthalpy. Okay, first one that we're going to look at is the standard enthalpy of hydration. So what we have here is delta H and not stands for the standard condition. And for the hydration, we're going to write down HYD. Okay, so what is the definition? It is the heat release when one mole of gases ion hydrated in water under standard condition, which is in 298 Kelvin, 180 M and 1 molar. Okay, so in this case, what is actually the one mole? Okay, the one mole must be our reactant. Okay, but then again, for the case my reactant here, it must be uh, gases ion. So, for example, here I'm just going to write down M plus. So, originally it must be gas. But then again, when it is hydrated in water, what will be the product? The product will be M plus, still M plus. But then again, once it is hydrated in water, it will become N equals. It will not be a liquid. But once it is hydrated, it will become an aqueous. Okay, so let's look here. Um, oh, okay. And then the definition is heat release. So our delta H must be a negative sign. Okay, so we have the hydration of our sodium. So again, which one is one mole? Must be my reactant. So one mole here lah. One mole of sodium plus gas. So once it is hydrated in water, so it's still one mole of sodium plus. Okay, but then the charge will be, or the phase will be aqueous. Okay, and then uh, it is not only for the, your cation, it, it is also applicable for cat, uh, for an ion. So here, 1 Cl minus gas, because remember, 1 mole of gas is ion, so hydrated in water. Okay, so 1 mole of my reactant, so it must be 1 mole of my product, but then what is the state? The state must be aqueous. So that is actually for hydration. So it's quite straightforward. Okay, next is the standard enthalpy of solution. Okay, still delta H naught. Okay, solution S O L N. Okay, so what is the definition? Is it is the heat change. So heat change, it could be positive, it could be negative. But then when the heat release, it is confirmed negative lah. Absorbed positive. So the heat change, it could be either one lah. Okay, the heat change when one mole of substance is completely dissolved in water to form a very dilute solution under standard condition. Okay, in this case, one mole is still our reactant, but for this case, my reactant must be in solid state. So, for example, I have my MX solid. So, what will happen? So, once it dissolves, okay, become M plus equals plus x minus equals because it dissolve in water uh, such as your NaCl kan NaCl solid when dissolve in water it become Na plus equals plus Cl minus equals okay so let's look here so we have my KCl so the one mole must be my KCl solid dissolve in water okay so here one mole of uh, potassium here one mole one mole of chlorine one mole here okay but when we dissolve it it will become an equals Okay, next is my magnesium chloride. For my magnesium chloride, which one is one mole? Is this one? Okay, so magnesium. Here magnesium is one. Here is also magnesium is one. So even though we have our charge here, but then magnesium is only one, kan? So here is one. And then my Cl. When we look here, my Cl, we, we have two. So here, it must be two Cl minus. Okay, then how about the state of the um, product? Because it is hydrated in water, dissolved in water, so it goes. Okay, so that is the six standard enthalpy that you have to learn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the one in this video is quite straightforward. Okay, the next four that we're going to look at, so even though it is not uh, mentioned in your uh, learning outcome for 2.1, it's actually you're going to learn later in 2.4. But here is just an introduction so that when you look at the notes, when you do the revision, at least here are all the definitions. Okay, so first that we're going to look at is the ionization energy where we're going to denote it as IE. So you have looked at it during your chapter 3. Um, 
chapter 3 and also chapter 2 in semester 1. But then again, what is the definition? Here is the uh, first ionization energy. is the minimum energy required to remove one mole of electron from one mole of gases atom to form one mole of gases ion. Okay, so here, uh, it's quite... Um, so I'm just going to write down. It's not one mole, one mole. Okay. Here, I'm just going to write down the reactant and the product for these four cases. Okay, let's look for first ionization energy. What is my reactant? Because they kata remove one mole of electron. So here it must be your product lah. Uh, because if it's in your reactant, it will gain. So but then he kata from one mole of gases atom. Okay, so for example, your gases atom will be M gas. Okay, so for example lah. One mole gases atom to form one mole of gases ion. Okay, but then here remember it remove one mole. So when we remove or we donate an electron, so our product must be a positively signed M plus gas. So it is still uh, one mole of gases ion. Okay, so let's look here for example of magnesium. Okay, so first ionization energy, remember it is from one mole of our gas, gases atom. So we're going to remove one electron, can? So what happened is that it's still here one mole, but the charge will be positive. So what will be the state? But it's still the same one, one mole of gases ion. So here is my gas. Okay, but then for the magnesium, you know that it will become Mg2+. We know the charge is Mg2+, can? Okay, but then for the um, ionization energy, we cannot write down uh, as Mg equal to mg2 plus plus 2e you have to the ionization energy is actually remove one mole so here is the first ionization energy so you have to do the second one okay so for example for the second ionization energy we're going to use from our product of the first ionization i.e so one mg plus okay remember remove one mole so when we remove one mole of electron so i don't need another one so what happened from plus uh, positive 1, it will become positive 2, 2 positive. Still 1 mole of magnesium, uh, 1 mole of gases ion. Okay, so here is the gases state. Okay, so you have to do one by one lah. You can't, you can't do magnesium, so the Mg2 plus plus 2E. No, for the ionization energy, remove 1 mole. So you have to do one by one. So for the case of aluminium, so you do have first ionization energy, at the second. Uh, added it because first you become Al plus, then Al2 plus, then Al3 plus. Okay, so for the ionization energy ni, okay, we will form kita punya form cation. Okay, next is electron affinity. So affinity ni it means that it's it likes ah uh, it likes electron. So, but then what is the definition here? The heat change when one mole of gases atom gain one mole of electron to form one mole of gases ion. So it's the um it's the direct opposite of ionization energy, i.e. they remove one mole here they gain one mole. Okay, so what hap what happened? Okay, reactant kita okay is still a gas, and our product is gases ion. But since it gain one electron, so it become negatively charged. So, in this case, it will form an ion. Okay, so let's look here for the first electron affinity of oxygen. So, remember gases atom. So, one oxygen gas. Okay, plus an electron. So, it become one mole of, uh, it's still oxygen. But then the charge is minus. Okay, how about the state? It's still the same. Okay, if the second one. Okay, the second one, we're going to do one O minus. Yes. Okay, remove another. Uh, we gain another electron. Because gain kan, so it must be on the reactant lah. If we remove electron, it must be on the product side. Because we gain in on the reactant side. So, what will become still one mole of oxygen. But right now, it will become two negative. Yes. So, for the IE and the EE, it is direct opposite of it. Okay, but here, just to mention, okay. The delta H for electron affinity 2 is always positive because the energy is absorbed by the electron to overcome the repulsion between the electron and the negative ion. Okay, 
So when we look at first electron affinity, it's negative one. Heat is released. But for the second one, uh, why heat is absorbed? Here we have positive one, positive value because this negative, our ion here is negatively charged and our electron is negatively charged. So here we have repulsion. But then we need it, but we need the electron to be together because we're going to form um, O2 minus, right? Okay. So uh, that's why uh, for this reaction to occur, to overcome the repulsion, uh, energy is always needed. So energy is absorbed. Okay. okay. The third, uh, second last one we're going to look at is the lattice energy, Le. So what is meant by lattice energy? It is the energy released when one mole of solid ionic compound is formed from its gases ion. Okay, so here, one mole of solid ionic compound. So in this case, uh, one mole. Uh, product kita must be one mole. Okay, but then, they ask, uh, here mention one mole of solid ionic compound. So for example, I'm just going to write down here is my Mx solid. Okay, so my reactant, it form from gases ion kan. So gases ion, so contohnya originally M plus gas dengan X minus gas. Okay, so that is for lattice energy. So let's look here. We have our NaCl. So energy release, a delta H kita must be a negative one. One mole of ion solid ionic compound. So one mole is here. So what is the state? The state must be solid. So it is formed from the gases ion. So and gases ion. So it means that Na plus gas, Cl minus gas. And then make sure it is balanced. One mole, one mole. Okay. Next is MgCl two. So MgCl two. You can remember one mole of solid ionic compound is formed. So one mole here, solid here. Okay. What about the gases ion? Mg two plus. Mg, 1 Mg, 1 Mg. So 1. But then my Cl. Here we have 2. We have to write down here is 2. Okay, how about the state? It is a gas state. Okay, so that is for lattice energy. Okay, in this case, it's actually uh, from our solid. What we have, we want it to form from the gases ion. Okay, next is the lattice dissociation energy. So, lattice dissociation energy is the opposite of our lattice energy ni lah. So, lattice energy, we're going to form our uh, solid from gases ion. In this case, we're going to separate the more uh, the solid ionic compound into its gases ion. So, from this definition, the reactor must be one mole, uh, which is from our ionic solid. And the product dalam kes ni, M plus gas plus X minus gas. Okay, so the direct opposite lah. Okay, so how about the equation? Ah, from so it's still the same. One mole of solid ionic, ini solid. What will become? One year, one here, and the state will be gas and gas. Okay, for MgCl two, sama juga. One mole of ionic solid. Okay, uh, separated into gases ion. So from here, one magnesium, two Cl minus. But it's the state. The state is gas. Okay, so that's why the lattice dissociation energy. Okay, so when you look here, okay, the equation is actually the opposite of it. So the value, so when we look here, for example, when we form our NaCl, we do get negative 771. So when we form this, okay, uh, when we form it, we get negative 771. When we dissociate it, what will have become? It's the same value, but we have to change the sign. So, positive 771. Okay, this one. This one is the same. It's just that you have to flip the direction. Uh, flip the arrow. So, at any point, the sign will be positive 2522. Again, okay. uh, example of here. Okay, colloidal formation from ion to become solid is negative 771. If we separate the solid into the uh, gases ion, we come positive 771. The magnitude remains but the sign changes. Okay, so that's it. Uh, the last definition for our 2.1. Okay, so it's quite a lot. Uh, so please write down on your notes 
But it's why I'm going to do several exercises in here. I'm going to discuss uh, only several of the examples itself. The rest of it, you have to answer it in the Google form. Lah. Okay, so please take note this. The bit elements here. This is actually the one that I have written down uh, in page 2. Okay, so first one we're going to look at is the enthalpy of formation of NaCl. Formation is actually uh, the heat change when one mole of compound is formed from its most stable element. So one mole must be my product. So in this case, my NaCl here must be my product. So here NaCl. And NaCl is my solid, is my salt. So enthalpy of formation, so it means that it must form from its most stable element. So what I have here is my Na plus NaCl. Okay, then check about my stable uh, element itself. So, my sodium is actually group 1 kan. Then it's actually memang solid. So, I'm just going to write down Na solid. Okay, plus then chlorine. Chlorine is actually group 17. So, group 17 must be gas. So, and then it must be in diatomic molecule lah. So, my is Cl2. So, here, I'm going to write down Cl2 gas to form my NaCl. Okay, and then make sure here is one, my one mole. So here is one mole. Okay, so here is one. Okay, my chlorine here is half. So it's fine if you do not, uh, if you don't want to write down one mole. It's just, I write it down so uh, for it to be more clear to you. Okay, and then for the thermochemical equation, we have to write down the enthalpy. So kat sini tu lah. Our enthalpy of formation is equal to A. So this is actually for example number one. Okay, number two, three, I believe you try yourself. Okay, example number three, atomization of H. So atomization of H is when one mole of gases atom is formed from its stable element. One mole of gases atom is formed. So one mole is actually our product. So here, I have my product H gas. Okay, tapi the form from its most stable element. So, stable element, okay, tengok, for hydrogen, stable element, the H2 gas. So, I'm just going to write down H2 gas. Okay, now we're going to balance it. So, here is my one mole. Okay, so here must be my half. Okay, then write down. Entropy of atomization, the value of it. Okay, example 5, 6, I believe it's quite straightforward. Okay, next we're going to look at is entropy of formation of Na2CO3. Okay, ni is quite a lot. Okay, so contohnya dekat sini, we have our Na2CO3. Na2CO3 solid. Okay, so originally, it formed from, we have our sodium, we have our carbon, then we have our oxygen. So I'm just going to write down sodium plus carbon plus oxygen. Okay, again, check it again. Sodium, stable state there. Uh, and a solid the same for carbon uh, carbon sini pun solid okay and then for my oxygen originally o2 gas okay so o2 gas okay now we're going to make it balance so which one mole here is one mole okay so my sodium is two oh my sodium is two so we're going to write down here it's two Okay, my carbon is only one, so here is one. Okay, next is my oxygen. My oxygen here is three, here it's two. So how are we going to write down? Three over two. So that is the entropy of formation. Okay, but then how, uh, don't forget to include my delta H. So, uh, question eight ni. Question eight ni banyak sikit. We have our carbon, we have our hydrogen, carbon, uh, we have oxygen, we have our sodium. So we have to write down one by one. From our stable element too, please refer to this. Okay, and then combustion. Remember, for the combustion, mass plus O2 plus O2 to get CO2 H2O. Okay, ini pun I believe is quite straightforward. Uh, yang lain tu, I believe you could try yourself. So that's it for 2.1.